Samsung made history of a sort Friday by launching the first major consumer-oriented virtual reality headset. It comes with an asterisk. Prototypes and other not-quite-mass-market versions have been available for a while. And its Gear VR headset is pretty impressive as first-generation devices go. The biggest surprise after using the new Gear VR for a few days, there's a lot of stuff to watch and play in the virtual worlds the headset opens up. Granted, some of that material is gimmicky. But the best of it hint at some of the mind-expanding experiences VR can make possible. The Gear VR is relatively cheap, too, at just $100. You do need your own headphones, preferably wireless, plus a recent Samsung phone, the Galaxy S6, S6 Edge, S6 Edge Plus or Note 5. If you don't already have one, the package could set you back nearly $1,000. Other VR systems will also need companion devices, such as high-end personal computers. Samsung developed the Gear VR with the virtual reality startup Oculus, now part of Facebook. It supplants the $200 Innovator Edition Samsung has sold for a year. That earlier prototype was mainly intended to build enthusiasm for VR and to help developers start producing games and apps for it. Samsung bills the new model as its first consumer VR product. Although it still requires some savvy on the consumer's part to use thought about the dev as your phone attaches to the front of the Gear VR headset, just in front of the lens for your eyes. Put the headset on, and your surroundings disappear as the phone screen opens a window into an unreal, three-dimensional world. As you turn your head, the image shifts accordingly to give the sense of being there in real life. You can even turn all the way around to see what's behind you. The screen projects slightly different perspectives to your left and right eyes to give the virtual world depth. The Gear VR wasn't easy to set up. I had trouble figuring out where all the Velcro straps and hooks were supposed to go. I couldn't get the phone to snap into place. I needed the manual to find a lever I had to switch because I had a larger phone, the Note 5. Many consumers might need help from a tech-savvy friend or kid. I also got frustrated having to wait for apps and video to download. A few minutes in some cases. The Gear VR can stream relatively few videos for instant playback. What to do with it? Fortunately, it was worth the wait most of the time, even if many of the videos seemed like concepts intended to demonstrate the future of virtual reality or are merely promotions for regular movies and TV shows. A lot of it is free, though some videos or apps will set you back $2 to $10.